people have been asking how I go about making my twirlers. Uh, you can use either a toothpick or a skewer. I prefer the toothpick. If you need some glue, I use a latex. Fishing line. Again, I use 25 pound test fishing line. I have pre. I a shrink tube. But that's the whole piece. I just cut a piece that long to put over it once it's done. Now, what I do is I get the toothpick and I'll put some latex on it. I'll spread it out a bit so it's not too thick and wipe off the excess. I get the fishing line. And I'll put about half inch fishing line onto the toothpick like that so that it's solid. Normally what I do is let that dry and tack off before and fully set before I, I, I go further. But because I want you to see what I'm doing right through, I'm speeding it up. Now what you do once that's dry is you get you get your piece of shrink tube, you put it on the skewer. And then you've got to shrink it, and it shrinks by heat. So I borrow my wife's hair straightener, just don't tell her. <laughs> then you just put it on and hold it like that, and the tube shrinks down. And you do it till you can see that the tube has shrunk all the way down to the timber. Then while it's still warm, I get my fingers and I spin it around in my fingers. Now, the shrink tube I use has actually got um, a glue inside it. So when it, when it heats up, the glue melts and it gives me a double joint. And there it is, that, that's, your, that's your twirler. Then all you have to do, because you've allowed a long piece, is get a pair of scissors and knock it down, you want about an inch and a half, so you bring it down to about there, take the end of it off. Now what I like to do, you can either sandpaper the end so it's a little bit rough so it will hold on to the grains of pollen. Or you can stick it in and bite it between your teeth and you'll feel the end and you can just feel a little bit of burring on it. And that's all there is to it, and that's a twirler. It's simple, it's easy, and it's cheap.